Welcome to I Love Stocks. I'm going to talk about three tickers today that I've been kind of playing all week long, at least Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and that is Boeing, Baidu, and Tesla. Those are my three top tickers for the week, and remember, this is a short week, and we'll be trading tomorrow. I want to wish everybody a happy holiday. If you haven't subscribed to this to this section, please subscribe. Ring that bell for future updates, and if you like this video, hit that like button. But first of all, we're going to talk about Boeing. Now, Boeing's been getting a lot of good news here lately. It seems like this is what I didn't get. The CEO says the virus transmission is not a threat on an airplane. It seems like the last time I got on an airplane, I got a real bad code. So I don't know if it was the airplane's fault or me coming back from Mexico. But I kind of disagree with that. I don't. I find that hard to be true. But we could always cut back on it, you know. So Boeing, I think, is pricing in all this good news right now. And like I said on the last video, I said anything above 250 was a gift. Well, we broke above that resistance level, and we built us a little Darvis box today. We're going to the sideways path. Now, the bears always say the bears like to get in here and bring it down. So if you're up good on this trade, take that profit. I think this is going to be a long, good trade for a while. I think um, they're talking about uh, people getting on the airplane more than a million a day, which is a very good high percentage. And I heard the bookings are increasing in price. So if you want to book something, you better do it now. So let's look at the chart. I do believe it's pricing in. And we're going to go ahead and just pull up the three-year and just kind of have a look at the three-year. And I'm going to erase all this stuff, get it off here. And we kind of see where we are. We're up to almost to this next candle right up in here. And that resistance level is at 275.42. Actually, let me, let me magnify this up. You know, first, got to do a couple things here. I want to get these three candles right in here. Right there, that 273.94, a little bit higher, right about there, and then this next one hit that 200, and that's right around the 280 mark. Then we got this low support right here, and that's what we're going to chalk in. Then I'm going to draw in this wick. This is going to kind of give us the low down. Let's see what this looks like on the day. Didn't hit any of the numbers there, so we'll take us to the 20 day. So those are going to be our resistance levels. You see how that went right to that resistance at 274? That's what our probably our goal is going to be. For right now, it's holding trend. And I think any knife on this trade is a good trade, is a play. you got to have a little bit of patience. You could have a day where the trend is going down. But right now, with all the good bullish news, I think the stock can go a lot higher. So let me... I was thinking about drawing a trend line right up in here, but I don't know if it'd be worth it. We'll just draw a resistance line right here at 256. That's what we've got to break tomorrow if we try it. Support level is going to be no lower than right down in here, right around the 251.87. Now I'm getting that off this pullback right in here, and then I see kind of like a little consolidation area where it squeezed out, dropped down, and then we had that huge breakout. So that's going to be like a solid support level. I'd like, I want that to hold. That'll run into the 50, and I think if this 50 crosses up over this 200 on the 20-day, one hour, this thing can go ahead and break that resistance at 256.69. But for right now, we're going to play it safe. I'm not in the trade right now. I got out of it today. I want to see if I can get in on the pullback on a slow day tomorrow, and that'd be right around that 251.87, no lower, no lower than this 249.89 area. Actually, we could hit down here, right there at the 247. So those are gonna be my three support levels. 247.67, 249.89, and then that 251.87. With resistance levels to break, it's gonna be that 256.69, and I think we can, if we can break that, we can start scooting it on up and hit this resistance level right in here at 259.66, 260, 260.240, and then up here right around that area at 265.84 for our probably our final resistance level. And if she gets up momentum long, if you're a couple months out, 
you're easily going to get up here to that 275 again. So that's Boeing. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Can't wait to take a vacation. The only bad thing about it is they're saying that you're going to have to probably have that vaccine passport, and I'm not too excited about taking the vaccine. But, and I sure don't want my vacation stolen from me either, so I think I might have to be forced to take it. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be Baidu. Now, I traded this thing twice today, and I'm in it for the scalp. I'm in it for the swing. I have a resistance level up here that we got to get to, and that's going to be right around that 227 to 232 area. We did try to break it pre-market. We did get up here right around the 222. So I'm still very bullish on this trade. Now, I know you can't read this, so we're going to bring it down to a one day or a five minute, five day. Still kind of hard to read. But the resistance level to break that we need to break is going to be this 222.21. Then try to bring it up to the hard resistance channel of 227.12 to 232.63. Now I am in this trade, and I'm up a little bit on it. Let me pull up the uh, daily one minute. It's kind of how, how I took it today. And I had a buy signal down here first thing when the market opened. I jumped in the trade, and it was this spinning top right here, and that's what got me into the trade. And I seen that. I seen it kind of held resistance up here, and then that next candle, two minutes later, we had the breakout. And then I got out of the trade right when it hit this 200 right here. I talk about this scalp all the time, or day trade. This would be a day trade because it's, you know, longer than 30 minutes. But I always talk about when I'm getting into a bottom trade, bottom play, I'll try to run it up to that 200 SMA. Now, you see how long of a resistance that was on that 200? It held that 200 quite a bit. Then I got back in the trade right here when it double bottomed. I said another perfect opportunity. And I always talk about the double bottoms as a buy signal. So I got into the trade again, and now I'm swinging it. It ran up, and then I kind of took a break, and we hit that 200, and I came back, and we were down, so I bought me another one right here, and then we went ahead, and she had that run all the way up. But that 200... You know, that's a real nice, that was about a $200 scalp if you'd got in that trade right there. So, yep, I'm liking it. Let me see where I am right now. I'm in the 220 strike. I got in at 194 with the cost average. I just got in at 210, and then I got in at 177, and then right now we're at 265. So I'm, I'm up about 140 bucks on this trade right now. Let's see if we can get it up higher. Yesterday I scalped it for a fast scalp, got in at 690, and sold it at $10. At $10. So I took that to the market. I wasn't in the trade more than, it looks like, about... 35 minutes, 37 minutes, and I got out of the trade. Then she ran on up a little bit more. I could have got a couple hundred dollars more out of the trade. But I do like Baidu. I'm going to keep trading it. I'm going to keep trading Boulding. And then we're going to look at Tesla. I love Tesla too. Tesla's been my 10-year scalper. And we're going to take a good look at Tesla. Now, Bears thought they had it pretty good on Tesla. And then she finally just had a nice little breakout. Miss Vegas called this out yesterday. And ran it on up. If she'd have held that contract, oh man, she would be way in the money. It definitely run up. Had a 672 high. So we're going to kind of pull this up on the 20 day and see what it tells us. We have a whole Darvis box right over here we got to work on. She did have some higher lows. And that 717 was the high. So the next resistance, well, the support level, I'm going to stick with this support level of 650. I like it. I like how it's pulled down right here a couple times. Then we had some decision making here. Had a resistance right here. So this is going to be like your pivot point. I don't know. A little higher than a pivot point. But this is your second pivot point. Maybe a hard resistance from the bottom. And we broke that out of that today. So I think she can pull back to that 650. And I'd like to see that hold. And then I'd take the trade. But next resistance level if she decides to run on up. 
is going to be right in here at 673.69 and then you got another one right here at right there right around that 679.55 then another one right in here right there right around that 686 kind of hard to say because it was choppy in these this area over here so we're just going to run with these three right now 673 69, 679.55, and then that 686. I remember talking about that before as a support level, and we just did not hold that. So now that becomes resistance with a solid buy down here right around the 650 to hold. If that doesn't hold, we can drop down more, and then that next support level is going to be right in here right around the 643, and then that 639. So that's it for the market report. I talked about Boeing, Baidu, and Tesla. All three of them are great trades. They're ones you want to keep on your watch list. I'm bullish on all three. Baidu had all that money going into it yesterday and this week, so we're definitely going to go up a lot higher on Baidu. And I think Boeing and Tesla are kind of hitting their little resistance levels, and we'll just see how the trade goes. They're getting priced in is what I'm trying to say. But I think we're going to have a great April and get ready. And that ain't no April Fool's joke. So let's have some fun. I'll catch you all later. We do have a Twitter link here. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here at all times. You can always hit that. And then also on, a, on our website, we have our stock twits. You can follow us on that. My link and then hers is above. So let's all have a great day tomorrow. I think it's going to be a low volume day. The sell, buy, sell, and balance was a sell at five to six billion tonight, and I think there will be people wanting to get in and get in on some of these pullbacks. The market, we'll see how it opens up tomorrow. Have a great day, and always remember, I love stocks.